Discord is one of the best platforms to use for communicating through voice calls, video calls, and also through chat. Another great feature of Discord are the countless servers you can join or create. If you frequently use Discord, learning the basic commands will let you maximize the features of the platform. In this video, we will guide you through Discord's basic and commonly used command, and we'll also run through some of the commands that you can use for the popular bot, MEE6. For our first command, you will use the at symbol to mention a user and ping them. You simply have to press the at symbol followed by their username. Another way to use this symbol is to get the attention of everyone on the server by typing at everyone. If you just want to mention everyone who's currently online on that server, then you may use at here instead. Now let's run through Discord's built-in commands. To access these commands, you simply have to type in a forward slash followed by the keyword or command name. If you use GIFs quite often, then you can use the Giphy and Tenor command to easily access and browse GIFs from the internet. Discord also has a built-in command for the classic table flip, unflip, and shrug emojis. To use these, just type a forward slash followed by the words without spaces. You can also type in a message along with the emoji. Next is the text-to-speech command, which is quite handy for accessibility because it reads your message to everyone currently viewing the channel. To use this, just type in a forward slash, then the letters TTS in lowercase. Now, if you want to italicize your text, you may use the command forward slash me. The command forward slash nick lets you change your nickname in a server, and forward slash thread lets you easily start a thread. Finally, for the last built-in Discord commands, we have forward slash spoiler. This is pretty handy, especially if you're posting something that may not be suitable for everyone on the channel. It blurs a photo or your message, and a user has to click on it to view it. Now that we've got the basics down, we'll now go over some commands on the Discord bot MEE6. MEE6 is a great bot to add to your server to help you out in moderating and managing your server. We'll provide the link to MEE6 down below. You can use the forward slash to easily access available MEE6 commands, but you can also use the following commands in moderating your server. To ban a designated user from the server, just type a forward slash, then type in the word ban. If you want to lift the ban, then you can type unban instead. To kick someone from the server, just type a forward slash, then the word kick. If you want to warn someone before they get kicked out, muted, or banned, then you may use the command warn. To mute someone, use the command mute, or unmute to undo your action. You can also temporarily mute a user by typing in temp mute. To clear messages in a channel, you can use the command clear. For getting role or user info, you may use role-info or user-info. Now, if a text channel has a lot of user chatting, you may enable slow mode by using the command slow mode without spaces. You can also add in your custom commands on the MEE6 website and further customize the bot's features. However, you may need to pay for a premium account. With these commands, you can take advantage of Discord's features and you can also create your own commands using MEE6 for your personal convenience. If this video helped you out, make sure to click like and subscribe to watch other useful guides about Discord and other online platforms. Also, check out our other videos that we think you might like.